Well, hello, travelers. Todd and Michelle here. And we have made our way over to 192 because we've had some travelers wanting to check out the Black Angus Steakhouse. There's actually three locations in Orlando. So we're going to check out the one on 192 Earl Bronson Highway, also known as Kissimmee. So come along and let's see what Black Angus Steakhouse has to offer us today. I'm, I'm just not sure what to expect. So let's go inside, see what it looks like. It looks totally different than I thought it was when we walked in. So they have a bar so you can sit and wait for your tables. But look how big this place is. It is huge. It is monstrous. And like I said, you can sit here at the bar and maybe eat, even eat at the bar if it's only two of you. And they got a gift store, an old timey Florida gift store, which we may go into afterwards. Travelers, we have made our way into Black Angus Steakhouse, and we have had several um, travelers ask us to come here. And actually, we have some travelers coming from the UK. Andy and his family are coming over, and they want to know what this place was all about because there's three locations here: one in Kissimmee, 192 that we're on. There's one over by Lake Buena Vista. And there is one on International Drive, so great locations for any visitors coming to Orlando. This there literally is, is one of the locations that they don't open until five. That is the Buena Vista, the Lake Buena Vista spot, because they do have early bird specials. But I think we might have missed our early bird specials. <laughs> it's until <laughs> five, so yeah, fifteen minutes. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if that happens. But this menu here, I'll show you um, what's on early bird. It's huge. It's gigantic. We have tried to come to Black Kings. It was years ago over in the Buena Vista area, and it just gave us a really different kind of vibe. I honestly thought this more, was more like a Sizzler Ponderosa yeah, type place. I thought it was like. And this menu is extensive. They have a 20 ounce porterhouse over here. Too. I mean, there's some good looking steaks. For those travelers that come for extended stays and usually come to the Walmart, this is that. Oh, the Walmart on 192. This is actually right in front of it. The Starbucks right beside it, so she's blown away. I, I opened the door <laughs> and I'm literally just in shock because it's big. It's, it's really huge. Big. And they serve great sweet tea. They have great sweet tea. Cheers, I keep getting mug. Cheers, honey. It's plastic, but it's a mug. Oh, quite tasty. Okay, good. we're going to peruse the menu here. So she said the most popular things are the, the ribeye rib rib and then the prime rib. Prime rib. So. But you said we're getting prime rib. We're going. We're going on another adventure yeah, tomorrow. I'll tell you what you guys going to in a second. Follow, but... follow along for that one. On the early bird special, um, it is till five, seven days a week, and it includes the entree, a super salad, and then dessert at the end. So um, it is smaller portions, but they do have an early bird special. Portions. Yeah, I'm going with pork chops. Okay, so you guys like do something so the pass like send to your pass song is yeah. what I should order. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you should um, text your they're best all, friend. I feel they're, they're all saying you need to try something. So, uh, that, that's what yeah, feeling. that's what I think that's they what what would say too. Ribeye to ribeye comparison. You got to go that way. Okay, so that's where I'm going. What are you doing? I'm going with the pork chops, the twin pork chops I, I that are grilled. That too. So, um, Here, you're still part of the there we go. We are going to get bacon wrapped filet bites, and that is a $15 appetizer. And it's bacon wrapped filet bites, tender filet with delicious flavor served with peppercorn sauce, and that is $15. It says sorry, no temperature. Yeah, oh, I that means yeah. Request us exactly, yeah. like medium it's rare. It's probably going to come medium. Makes sense. And then what did you finally end up I with? The, um, just 12 ounce ribbon. Shocker. <laughs> and that comes with a loaded baked potato. Did you just say just a 12 ounce? <laughs> yeah, just a 12 ounce. She just went with the 12 mm -hmm. ounce. Um, it comes with the baked potatoes, like a potato, and it comes with a side salad. So yeah. 
but I got the center cut boneless pork chops. And that comes with um, a side, which is a loaded baked potato for me. And um, it did not come with a salad, so I felt left out, so I ordered a salad. But I do believe this also comes with rolls, but we'll find out. And then I'm also looking for the dessert menu already. But I can't find it. Totally a QR code. Could be. <laughs> do you have, they're saying their lamb chops are back, so they do have lamb chops season. Okay. Which that's the first question I've seen around here that carry lamb chops. Are you interested in that? You can find that here. And they do have a VIP club that you can join, that you can get discounts and earn points for different stuff like that. And interestingly enough, I don't know if you're going to see it, but they do have things like takeout, like party platters. It looks like that. I'd take it. I'm just eating dinner. And then they also have like meal kits, which look like that. So I thought that's kind of cool. What is it? It says fresh ingredients, they give you the garlic and herbs today. So we need to keep this in mind, maybe when I Yeah, that's definitely. The um, first of next month when I start back to work. <laughs> thank you to my best friend for all the support. Yes. <laughs> she knows who she is. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> You've helped awesome. me along the way, thank you. <laughs> it's it's really rough. I'm trying to laugh about it. Um, <laughs> it's been such a wonderful time. But, you know, past few years, almost like, what, two years? Yeah. Been so fortunate to be able to, you know, have a vacation after school, after the rush of graduating, and getting back into the practitioner. So, yeah, she's done and good. And she's he's, he's done really good. My she's me, done good. By the way, if anybody notices that little white spot on my shirt right there, that is from the light reflecting off of the blazer. Oh, yeah, there you see. see? See, now this weird. Now it's not. So that is from that. They delivered our salad. That drives me crazy. Because yeah. somebody else we watch has a pixel out of the camera and they don't know it. Yes. He fixates on the pixel. I see the pixel every time. <laughs> this is our salad. Look how big these are. Yeah. And they did come with fresh rolls. Fresh rolls right there. But check the butter out. It's a honey butter. But it literally is a thing of butter, and then they just poured honey all over top of it. So that's pretty tasty. We're going to prepare this and get it going. Salads look good. Yeah, Everything so far so good. I got ranch tonight. I'm surprised you didn't get blue cheese. No? Okay. And anywhere I eat first to try it out, I always start with ranch. Oh, okay. Is that the rule? The rule of thumb? That okay. shows you the didn't standards. Know that. <laughs> didn't know that. We're going to start with the salad and Michelle's face. Oh. She doesn't like olives, I forgot about that. And I threw her my onions already. Ooh, don't lose the olives. Ooh. No, she, oh, no, you didn't lose it. I got it. I got it. I got it. One went down. No, it's right It's right there. No, it went, no, it it went, went down. Went that okay, way. we lost an olive. That's okay. Cheers, honey. The dressing. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> the ranch. Mm -hmm. Very good. Nice and crisp. There are these little peppers. I still don't know what these are. I give them to Michelle. Pepper cheese. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, very nice salad. Pretty good size too. Yeah, that's what I said. It was a huge. Mm -hmm. Michelle makes the best biscuits and gravy I've ever had in my life. And mm. she made some last night for dinner. Oh my gosh. I had a pretty for lunch today at work. They were so good. Were That's good. the bread and That's butter. Really good. Okay, here we go. I think their sign even says they have a $14.99 steak special, which is the early <coughs> bird special, of course. You know me, the old guy had to get the hey, well, early bird special. We, we blend in quite nicely to the people that are here today. <laughs> I will say that though. There's some large parties in here and they have the tables to fit them. Mm -hmm. I'm really still shocked how big this place is in here. Mm -hmm. Now I need to go to the International Drive one and to the one over in Buena Vista. See how big they are. If you have six or more people, you won't yeah, have a problem, have a problem meeting here. Mm -hmm. You can make reservations, but you don't have to. Here comes our welcome after. Yeah, I do believe so. It's ready. Be careful with the skewers. Mm -hmm. The behind one's in the flaming grill. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. It's great. This appetizer looks fantastic. This was $15 and it is the um, filet medallions wrapped in bacon with a peppercorn sauce. 
and an oh, orange. I look at this. That's clever. Look at that right there. Whoa. Well, that's the back. Uh, is it? How? What? How do you know? Because the sauce is usually on the front. Okay, there. There's the oh, front. Oh gosh, they smell wonderful. I know. So we're gonna give these a try, and I'm gonna let Michelle pick her. I know she's gonna go for this one. I'm gonna let her pick her medallion. Oh, look at that. She's gonna cut and use her fork. You gonna try peppercorn? Okay. These are hot and they're burning my fingers. Well, that's why you use a fork. I know. It's what most people would do. There we go. You're gonna try it? Thank you. She got my peppercorn sauce for me. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Very tender. Very tender. I love that peppercorn sauce. Yeah, you can taste the pepper mm. and the bacon. The beef has a These good flavor. These are really good. Beef is very tender. Yeah. It's the bacon. Get two kebabs mm -hmm. with like three pieces on each one. Yep. Uh, half an orange if you want to squeeze the orange over it. I don't know what that's for. Oh, it's to hold the skewers. It makes sense. So far, so good. Rolls are good. Medallions are great. Salad is great. Can't wait to try that. Entrees. That's a little pricey for me. You think so? Seven fifty for a skewer. Yeah, but you got four pieces of the medallion on there. Uh -huh. It's an easy way to try it without having to commit yeah, to true. it. So, I think it's a fair price. Yeah. Might be oh. a little pricey, but the onion rings were fourteen dollars. So you know. Mm. Filet? Onion rings. Good That's choice. True. Yeah. You're, you're right, I guess, for yeah. what you've got. So. I'm just used to the... This would be good cut up my over top. My appetizer prices are like 9 to 12. This, so would, be, kind of this would be good cut up over my salad. Well, then it's steak salad. That's true. Entrees have arrived. Here is my... Oh, God. That's, ooh, I told that's you hot. hot. Oh, we got our sauce. It's coming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you. I have to get the peppercorn sauce for my pork Thank chops. You so Thank you. And um, there's my double grilled pork chops with a load of baked good. potato right there. Uh, sour cream's on the That's side. Enough, huh? But that plate is really hot. I let Michelle show her. So that was the 18 ounce, mm -mm. 12 ounce, okay. 12 ounce right sauce. there. I'm gonna hold it up like this. I'm gonna hold on to that. Oh, there. there That's you a go. good idea. Oh yeah, look at that. And it is fire grilled. Why have we grilled. not done that before? I don't know, you know. Okay. You would have thought after 300 and some odd videos, we would have thought that out there. But that is also flame grilled. So it Can't looks really good. Michelle's going to get her accoutrements ready for it. And I'm going to get my potato ready. I'm still working on my appetite. salad. I've got some filet you left too. And the salad's fantastic. I'm still eating on that. So far, so good. And these baked potatoes are one of the tough skin baked potatoes, which I really like. And you can tell that they're oven baked really well. Got a little salt on the outside, but the cheese and bacon bits are like all over this potato. So I cannot wait to dig into these. Time for our entrees. I got my pork chop cooked nicely. Michelle's got her steak. This is the tipper. We're going to see. Cheers, honey. Pork chops for me are grilled perfectly and there's no bone. These are boneless pork chops and they are fantastic. The real kicker is, what does Michelle think of her steak? It has a good flavor, but along the tough side, probably my fault because I got it medium because it's a little thinner than what I'm used okay. to, so I just said medium. I like them a little okay. bit, kind of medium rare, but but you think they get you rare. Okay. So it makes it a little tougher. Um, Good, looks like it got a nice little char to it. Mm. And it's flame grilled. I don't know if it's wood flame grilled. It's not gonna knock long No, out of we know that. Part. Would you like to try my pork chop? You wanna try my steak? Yeah, we'll do that. Here we go. <coughs> Trying each other's entrees. You're right. Mm. See? Mm. Hers is a little chewy. A little tougher. 
pork chop's good. It's got a good flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can really taste the grill and it's tender. Yeah. It doesn't feel overcooked at all. Mine might be a tad bit. Overcooked, it's but it's still got a good pink to it. But yeah, it is a little tough. So other than that, I mean, it, uh, everything tastes good. Yeah, but I think for somebody that's looking for an all-around menu, meaning you have people at your party that want pasta, they want fish, they want steak, they want pork chops, this is a great place. Yes, I totally I agree it, with that. It gives a lot of options. 100%. Because like I said, how can you come to a steakhouse and get pizza? <laughs> and chicken parmesan. So, not a bad choice. All right, here's Todd's favorite menu of the day. That's right, you know that. Look, they even give you pictures. <laughs> but I know which one I want because I've already read it. I'm getting that one right there. The berry brulee cheesecake. <laughs> Michelle made her decision, which she showed you the picture of. of the... Enthusiastically, it's the berry brulee cheesecake. Yeah. Which sounds I'm guessing it's a slice of that thing. Yeah, that I don't think Doesn't it's. Doesn't it look like macaroni and cheese? It's it kind of does look breaking like. Breaking me out a little. I think it's the white chocolate shavings. That's oh. what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. And I'm going with the chocolate earthquake cake. Which so it's is, either a mini cake or you get a slice of that. I think we get slices. I think so. Well, it's we're a going layer of chocolate brownie, two layers of chocolate cake, filled in ice with sinful chocolate fudge, top of pieces of brownie and white right. chocolate chips. Drizzled with white chocolate ganache and rolled and robed with milk chocolate. How can you beat that? Come Goodness on. Gracious. But it doesn't have a price on this. So I know. I don't have That's the oh. tricky part. There are no prices on this mm -hmm. dessert. So um, we are taking half of our meals home. There was a ton of food, so that was that's nice, and this place has really started to fill up. There's people coming in mm -hmm. constantly, rolling oh, through know, here. It is a good place, though. Um, again, we said about the groups, but they have tons of tables. Yeah, and I'm excited to get over to the gift shop behind us. She loves those little <laughs> tchotchke those places. Shops. My grandmother collected the little um, snow gloves, and you know they run rampant in the <laughs> stores like that for souvenirs. Yeah. So look, every time I go in one, I think I'm like, Yeah, so she can look and peruse the shot glasses too. You know, that's always, oh, yeah, a, always, shot it's always a hot topic and over there. T-shirts like three for $9.99. Yeah, and but they're, they're like, so thin you can see yeah, they're made out of tissue. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, still a souvenir. <laughs> we did get confirmation on our desserts um, that they will be, they should look just like this. So we shall see. I got that one, and Michelle got that one right there. And travelers, don't forget, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and the big like button. That's what um, YouTube really likes is the likes, a thumbs up. If you're not new to the channel, yeah. you should have already done Yeah. It. I think most of you guys are already subscribed. I know it's hard. I know. It's hard. Because right now, they're either, you know, just waking up and yeah. tired and it's yeah. so hard to like. Just hit it down. It's that little red button. <laughs> it's not that hard. I know, big <laughs> thumbs up. You know, we greatly appreciate it. That means you guys are enjoying what we're doing. So, um, we do have another adventure planned for tomorrow, which will be the next video. I think Sunday's video. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're going to talk yeah. about what we're going to do. Do we really want to talk about it? Do we want to make a boy? Um, the next video will involve a cruise. Yes, it will. That That's a good, that's a good hint. That's it. That's all. Travelers, I've never seen a picture that justifies a dessert. But these pictures on the dessert menu, I was like, no way these are going to come out looking like that. Look at that. That is Michelle's is dessert. one person, supposedly. I still don't know how much it is, so we're going to see. Either. It's like three servings. Yeah. It's probably pie, pie amount of So that's Michelle's, and this is mine. I mean, look mm -hmm. at that. It's like a crown. That is huge. So we cannot wait to give these a try, and the pictures did not lie. So Black Angus came through on that one. I do believe I have dessert in me. Because Michelle just cut into hers. Not that mine doesn't look bad. I mean, look, that dark chocolate. Oh, I didn't get the middle of your house. It's okay. It's, it's just know. nothing but dark chocolate. Look at that. Right there. Do we? all the time. Oh my gosh. We watch everything. We just watched it yesterday. Did you? Really? Nice to meet you. We had travelers joining us. The roses, the roses from Kansas City. Nice to meet you guys. Thanks for stopping by. You know me and dark chocolate right there. But I'm gonna say it right now, I probably needed a glass of milk with this. Okay. Cheers, honey. That's that's 
Especially not for like four I know, that, that's four nights worth like, of dessert. Like, what I did. Like, I cut mine in four yeah. So, That's right. awesome. That's you awesome. End up <laughs> Not that I don't mind those leftovers. Okay. okay. Cheers. This is gonna be so fudgy. Mm. Okay. When they said a layer of chocolate brownie and two layers of chocolate cake, it is so thick and dense, but good. I think three people could split this. I think I really do. Oh my gosh, this is good. And I'm not a big dark taco fan, you guys know that. You like a bite? Yeah, I'm gonna just show these. Look at the ooey gooeyness in there. The caramel right there. Holy cannoli. I don't care where they make them. I can make them by the Jiffy store. Can I have just a small bite? Yeah. I expect that to go into three pieces. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'm just going to take the raspberry part. I don't care, but I expect okay. this to be cut into three bites. Damn. I've never seen this. Ever. There, that's the bite I got there. This one is. Would you like to try the taco? Probably not. She doesn't yeah. bite. Okay. No. That's the one. Oh, I was like, you're crazy. Oh, that is good. So, I'm not going all the way down. go ahead. I'm gonna tell you, it's thick. No, oh, I don't want to talk. This is a bad idea. No, go ahead. You gotta try. It. You gotta try. It. What is that? It's a white chocolate brownie ball. <laughs> that is so fudgy. It's just nothing but dense chocolate. But I like it for some reason. I mean, you gotta have vanilla milk for this. Michelle's put me on A2 milk, so that's what we good with it. It's, it's rich. It is. Might be the one of the richest desserts I've ever eaten. And I've eaten a lot of desserts. This one. Yeah. The cheesecake's not over with um, sweet in that, so, so it has the berries. So we're gonna go off. It almost tastes like a. What's that famous New York cheesecake? Juniors. Juniors. Yeah. It's got that taste. Mm -hmm. As me and Michelle are eating these desserts, we're trying to figure how much they're gonna be. Split them. Split them, definitely. Mm -hmm, but I'm gonna say they're at least $12 Look, a and piece. And he was eating on it. Look, I only yeah. tried a little. Because we found out there's caramel on there too. Yeah. Oh my God, that was good. So we're betting twelve dollars. So we'll let you guys know once I we get our check. I think twelve or fourteen is my bet. I would have to say that's just a big so. dessert. We'll see. Okay, so Black that's Angus Steakhouse. That's that's. A... Let's give a synopsis real quick. Okay. I do believe if you've never been here, somebody's going to find something to eat. There's not going to be a problem. I Would I come here for the steaks? Menu. Yeah. They get every. Yeah. There. Yeah. Would I come here for the steaks? Yeah. Probably not. I'd probably go somewhere else. But for the dessert. I just because you guys know my history. But would would I get what I got again? Yeah. I mean it was good. Yeah. But. But now we're like the medallions with the garlic and this pork butter chops sauce. Were the winner, yeah. As far as they the were good. Show, they were really good. Everything else was and really a lot, good. Really. Yeah. You only ate one to tell you. Yep. Salad was a generous portion. It yep. was huge. Ranch dressing was right on. Large well. location here. Mm -hmm. It's good Very for Very big location. Everybody can fit. So, um, the dessert prices are in. Oh, uh, no. Uh-oh. All right. So, I'm saying mine was probably 16 It was $8. Really? $8 for each one of those desserts. That's that a is a steal. That's a steal. Our total bill with everything. That was less than the appetizers. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to ice team. I gotta go back to drinking water like we used to do in the very beginning of our videos. You used to. I know. So 105 was our total bill for that. For the two of us. I'm okay with that. I am too. I yeah. think that's fair. I'm okay with that. Nice steak, place to come. Steak dinner. Put yep. a steak appetizer. Yeah, the, the two dessert huge alone. desserts. They got me at the end. Yeah. 
so that was a really good cheese. I'll take that. So not bad at all. Okay, I'm gonna take one um, more bite of this cake. What else? Dessert. Oh, you can't. I just can't. Yeah, I'm so full. Uh, so that's. We'll just get some boxes. Take mm -hmm. these home. So I'm gonna have one more bite of this. Okay. Michelle's gonna have one more bite of hers. No, okay. And I can't travelers. wait to get to the. Yeah. The gonna, gift shop. She's gotta go to the Florida gift shop next door. Has that got the wizard on top? I'm not oh, sure. So. We'll have to see. But until next time, travelers, like we always say, <laughs> travel and adventure is out there. Just found this little fun fact. If you like to eat here a lot, bring your receipt back and they give you 10% off your next meal. I'm telling you. And I just said I don't think there's any discount. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So of course we came in next door and they got Disney merchandise. All kinds of stuff, oh my gosh. But this is old Florida right here. And you came to gift shops right on 192 before you went into the down World Drive. This is what you came and seen. But check that lounge fly out right there. Simba and Baby Scar is the greatest. But of course, you got Donald and all the other guys. The Snow White set right there is really nice. So this is the back entry into Black Angus Steakhouse. It is a huge place. Here's the t-shirts I was talking about. I was talking about. Buy three, get one free. <laughs> Here they are. He might be picking out shirts for a uh, another cruise, not the tomorrow cruise, but another cruise we have planned. <laughs> So now if I can just get Michelle to make bathing suit bottoms for my shirts, I mean look, $20 for the shirt, $20 for the bathing suit bottom. Here's where the snow globe live. Typical Florida souvenirs. I remember when I was a kid. <laughs> Todd spied the cookie jars back there, $79.99 for Mickey. Thank you. Even got Harry Potter, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. So like I said, this just screams old Florida, touristy, all that good stuff. But it's a great shop. And it's right beside Black Angus. This was the gift store we were just in, and then right over here is Black Angus, right there. But definitely throw back old Florida, getting off that beaten path and finding different things that are out there. That's the fun part that me and Michelle are really starting to enjoy.